Now, in our identity, what we did was that we chose x to be 1, and that meant that when x was 1, we were able to work out b to be 2 thirds. And we went on to choose x as being minus 2, so that it took out these two terms and enabled us to find c. OK, and we found c to be 14 ninths. And at this point, we had run out of values of x that would make our brackets go to 0. And so I was left choosing any particular value of x. So I chose x to be 0 and suggested to you that you could try other values of x. But do you remember, when we chose x to be 0, look how much working we had. All of this lot. Now, quite often, there's a much easier way of finding a constant when you've run out of particular values of x that make these individual brackets 0. And I'm going to show you that now. That's the object of this tutorial. Now, it's based on comparing coefficients. Coefficients are values, constants, in front of a particular term. Like, for instance, the coefficient of the x term here is negative 3. And the coefficient of this x squared term is 1. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just write it in for you, even though we should know that it's 1. Now, let's just expand this expression. And if we did expand this expression, what we would have is that this would be identical to a times, and expanding these two brackets would give us x squared plus 2x minus x, which would be plus x. And then minus 1 times the plus 2 would be minus 2. I'll leave this second term alone as b bracket x plus 2 and go on to expand this third term here. So that's going to be c bracket x squared. Then we'd have minus x minus another x, that's minus 2x. And then minus 1 squared, that'd be plus 1. And if I expanded each of the brackets, what I would have is ax squared plus ax minus 2a. And then on this one, we would have bx plus 2b. And then finally, expanding this bracket would give plus cx squared and then minus 2cx, so that would be minus 2cx. And then finally, plus 1c, or just simply c. Now, if I compare the coefficients of x squared, let's just write that down here. Compare coefficients of x squared. OK. What I've got is that the coefficient of x squared here is simply that one there. And that should be identical to the coefficients of x squared on the right-hand side here. And that would be that a there and the c here, a plus c. So by comparing coefficients of x squared, what I get is the 1 on the left is equal to the a, which is the value that I'm trying to find. Remember, I've only got the b and c at this stage. And then plus the c over here. And the c was 14 ninths. So we've got a plus 14 ninths. So to get a, all I need to do is do 1 take away the 14 ninths. And that's clearly going to be equal to 9 ninths take away 14 ninths, which is minus 5 ninths. And so you can see that this is an extremely easy way of getting your final constant when you've run out of values of x. It just gives you an easy equation compared to this. It might seem at first that I've done a lot of work here, but to be fair, what you would do is when you've got this line, I would just look across and say quite easily that 
expanding this I'm just going to have an AX squared term and then a CX squared term so I shouldn't really have to go and write all this red stuff down here I should be able to do that in my head so with practice I would like to think that you could do that very quickly just by comparing coefficients of X squared you'll be able to find out your final constant Okay, so hopefully then that uh, gives you a quick way now rather than doing this.